Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we're back to Broken Sword, Shadow of the Templar. So, the kid told us to say this phrase to the kebab salesman, and I suspect he told me the wrong phrase. So I'm gonna say something like, I slept with your mother, or something equally enraging to this guy, and he's gonna take a swing at me. Hmm. Supposedly again, it's a sir. really nice Hello. phrase in a row. Yeah. So let's speak it and see what happens. Um, il akul kalb? Filthy! Bad, bad! I kill you! Whoa! Mm. Calm down! I just. Feet, do your thing! He's chasing me with a knife. Let's. Go this way, I suppose. Just to make sure he doesn't stab me. Hmm. And then I guess we'll just walk back. Seems like we're pretty safe. Hmm. So. Let's go talk to the boy and see. What he told us to say. This is probably a great lesson in not speaking languages you don't understand. It was the sort of bell you see in hotel receptions. Mm. Uh, kind of unexpected here. Let's go ahead and talk to him. What the heck did you tell me to tell him? Patience, sir. Patience? Patience? I've been chased by a homicidal kebab seller, and you expect me to be patient? But consider, sir, while you were running from the irate Arto, the irate Arto wasn't using the brush. Hold on. Are you telling me that I've been used as a diversionary tactic? Your brush, sir. I can't believe that you put me on that kebab seller's death list for a toilet brush. The ends justified the means, sir. <laughs> yeah, but I noticed it wasn't your butt that was on the line, though. They also serve who only stand and wait, sir. Oh, spare me. Thanks for getting the brush and risking my life to do it. Anytime. Glad to be of service. So now we've got this toilet brush in our so inventory. So long, Joe. Toodle peep, which sir. I could theoretically go try and talk to a bunch of people about, but... Let's be realistic here. We know what to do with the toilet brush. We return it to the club element. And we get in the bathroom. And then hopefully that moves the game forward in some way. So inventory item with this guy. Here's your brush, sir. It wasn't easy getting it back. The this... manager took the brush from me, gave me the toilet keys as my reward, and stomped off. What was all that about? Manager, he say, Bah, look at state of this. Need much cleaning and detergent before go around my Yuben. He said all that? Body language account for much, you know? Oh, yes, indeedy. Okay, we can go into the bathroom now. And let's see what's in the bathroom. Uh, what's I knew the door was weird. Locked. I'd need the key to get in there. Is we're following a circular logic of a puzzle. We wanted the to get in the bathroom for really no reason. And then we had to go get the toilet brush and now we can get in the bathroom. And if we were looking for the toilet brush specifically, well then we would have assumed it was in the bathroom to begin with, which then completes the circle and actually puts it in the wrong order. Here we have rolling towel. Those are filthy. Here we have a mirror. A working mirror in a video game pretty easy to do when you're 
a 2D hand drill on in the mid game. Here we have a floor toilet that seems to have custom foot stands in it for some reason. Let's go pull the chain and see what happens. Oops. The chain fell off. Let's look at the toilet. And I thought the French had strange toilets. Hmm. I hadn't drunk anything since the morning. And I didn't need to use it. Hmm. So, I don't know what Syrian toilets are like right now. If they would be like that, or if worse or better. So we got this chain. Why do we need a chain? Hmm. It was a roller towel dispenser. Let's see. Keys on this? So now we have this. There didn't seem much point in closing the dispenser. So now we have the towel. And we have a chain. And I'm not supposed to put the chain on that. And I don't think there would be any reason for anything else. We could use the towel on the mirror. Hmm. The mirror was as clean as anything else in there. Hmm. So we have two items and no money. But he but the guy said he needed a uh, muffler and a belt on his car so maybe if I fix this car then there would be some solution there maybe maybe I just need to hand these items to this guy and now I'm walking around a little confused I could probably look at the hint system and see if that's right let's see let's give this to him hello again Ultar praise be to Allah I am blessed with your bountiful presence once more look what I've got the towel from the toilet what do you want with towel well I don't know yet do I you sure a funny mm -hmm. bod run around collect things so Let's ask him what the phrase was. What does il akal kalb mean? Who teach you that? Najo told me to say it to Arto. And Arto come after you with big knife, yes? Yeah, how did you know? I know Arto. You tell him in bad Arabic that his kebabs made from dog meat. I said he was using dog food? No wonder he went crazy. No. Ultar not mean meat for dog. Ultar mean meat of dog. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Look, I've got the keys to the toilet. Is this life goal thing I read in GQ? <laughs> what does this toilet chain mean to you? You got brush back so you could steal chain? You sure strange cookie, mister, yes? So... See you around, Ultar. May good fortune follow you, mister. I... There must be something I have to do with the cat. Let's see. Hmm. Talking to the kebab guys. Probably not that helpful. Unless I was going to use the towel on the fire. Which I could try that. Let's see if that starts a fire. Nope. Let's go see if we can talk to Pearl. Hello. I was wondering whether you could help me. Why, hi there, handsome. So we can what talk can to What can I Pearl. do for you? Totally hi, missed that. my name's George. I was just... Well, it's certainly a delightful to meet you, George. I was... My name's Mrs. Henderson, but you can call me Pearl, I'm sure. Okay, Pearl. 
I was... So nice to meet a friendly American face so far from home. Pearl? Yes, dear? I was just wondering if you could help me. Why, sure, precious. It's a little bit weird that they don't keep it standardized and have the player character always on the left or right and the other character you're talking to always on the other side. It's not really a big deal, but... It is a little odd. Have you ever heard of a group of knights called the Templars? Sounds familiar. I remember. Dwayne had a book. The Holy Something and the Holy Something Else I can't quite recall. I read a little of it. And? Seemed like a lot of hooey to me. I've been talking to your husband, Dwayne. Oh. Yeah. He tells me that he runs a greeting card company and you write the poems that go in them. Oh, yes, indeed. I consider myself the artiste of the family. Tell me, George, would you like to hear one of my poems? Sure. Interesting, it's thumbs down by default. Yes, go on then. Okay then, darling, here we go. Our sympathy upon this time, when your heart doth break. I like the dot. Classy, isn't it? We know the grief that must entail when your schnauzer gets bitten by a snake. Ah, mm -hmm. it still touches me. What do you think, George? It's very specific, isn't it? You think so? We sell a lot of those here. Let's continue down this path. So, tell me a little about yourself, Pearl. Me? Oh, a gentleman's interest is always so flattering. Well... My husband and I run a greetings card company in a cute little place called Akron in Ohio. Akron? Cute? Little? I thought he was out of Cleveland. You said that your company is based in Akron. And Dwayne said it's in Cleveland, no doubt. Well, yes he did. Dwayne was in the Marines and Vietnam, you know. Anyway, he got a medical discharge. Thing is, he gets confused. We moved away from Cleveland five years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... He also gets a little paranoid. Thinks he's a spy or something. I'm so sorry, Pearl. Don't worry yourself, Interesting. George. We live with it. So now we get this res revelation that maybe he's not actually a spy. He's just crazy. Have you met the taxi man, Ultar? Havens, yes. What a big man. Very muscular. But you didn't go for a ride. Why, George, you're absolutely the most... Oh, you mean a taxi ride? No, Dwayne wasn't interested, so it didn't happen. Hmm. Have you talked to the boy on the bric-a-brac stand? Oh, you've met him? His name's Nijo, you know. Oh, he's just so cute, I could die. I'd love to bundle him up and take him back to Ohio. He might not thank you. I'm looking for something ancient, you know. Something to impress the folks back home. The poor boy was trying to do his best, but we still haven't found anything. Hmm. Have you had anything from the kebab stand? Hey, heavens no, with my digestion. Let's ask about the bull's head. Have you ever heard of a hill called the bull's head? No. No, I haven't. Is it nearby? I'm not sure. Sounds awful romantic. The bull's head hill. Let's ask him about the phrase, I guess. Do you know what il akal kalb means? My, sounds romantic. Yeah, I don't think it is, though. Let's ask about the weaving. Do you know anything about medieval weaving? I do a little needlework, but gosh. It's okay. It was a long shot. And then let's start asking about items. I've got some plaster of Paris. That's nice, dear. What do you think of this toilet chain? My, but you're a strange one, George. Hmm. What do you make of this grease paint stained tissue? Oh, it's grease paint. I thought somebody had gaudy taste in makeup. Do you know what this is? Lord, no. It looks painful, though. It's a sewer key. Who'd want to break into a sewer? <laughs> I've got the keys to a toilet here. With my digestion, you better keep them handy. <laughs> Oh, but I'm terrible. 
Have you ever heard of anybody calling himself Merlin? Merlin? No, Merlin. Merlin. There's an O in there. Moulin? You haven't, have you? No, darling. No Moulins. What do you think of this? Oh, looks scientific. It's a blood pressure thing, isn't it? Look, a washroom towel. Oh, George, you poor, poor thing. You've had a touch of the sun. No, I'm fine, really. Have you seen this man before? No. A friend of yours? No, not really. I doubt this is going to work. I liked her too much to zap her with the buzzer. So, another person we could talk to and we exhausted everything. I've got to go now, Pearl. It's been a pleasure, George. Don't be a stranger. Let's see. So we've got this cat. We've got this bell. We've got this. Hmm. And I hadn't come all this way to seek out curios. We have this whole overhang that's precariously perched. Let's see. If I put the chain with the bell. Nothing. If I put the towel with the bell. Nothing. If we try the towel with the cat, nothing. If we try the chain with the cat, nothing. Hmm. If there was only a way I could break the bell, perhaps. So the guy would just always come out. Hmm. So he's bouncing the ball now. Which I guess that means the ball will bounce when I click ring the bell. Let's pet the cat. Move the cat over there. And then the ball bounces and it gets the ball swinging and it knocks over something. And we can pick this up. Interesting. Kind of a complicated puzzle there. And what did I get? The statuette looked pretty sorry for itself after its fall. Chipped with both arms broken off. Interesting. Plaster with hmm. this? Maybe not. So let's see if we could give this to Pearl and get money from her and then we could hire the taxi. Hello again, Pearl. Why, hello, George. It's such a pleasure to see you again. Are you interested in antiquities? Am I? What hmm. have you got there, George? How about this fine statuette? Oh, George, that would be ideal, except I don't know. It looks new, George. You would be trying to make a fool out of me, would you, George? Good God, no, Pearl. Nothing could be further from my mind. So... I've got to make it I've got to go now, Pearl. It's been a pleasure, George. Don't be a stranger. What items can I use? Hmm. Maybe not. The grease paint had worked magic. Now it looked like aged marble instead of cheap plaster. Do we have to dry it off or hmm. anything? Maybe not. So grease paint works. Now let's try this again. Hello again, Pearl. Why, hello, George. It's such a pleasure to see you again. What do you think of this fine piece of ancient statuary? Oh, my, that's just what I've been looking for. Just one thing, though. Oh? It looks awful similar to that modern one you showed me. Ah, well, that's because... You see, that's because... That's because... That's because the first one I showed you was a modern copy of this one. And... And I sought out the artist who'd done the copy and bought the original. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, George. 
How can you ever forgive me? There's nothing to forgive, believe me. Would you like it? Would I ever? I'm not carrying the money, though. If you go and find Dwayne, he'll pay you for it. If he gives you any trouble, just tell him that I want it. Okay. I've got to go now, Pearl. It's been a pleasure, George. Don't be a stranger. So I have to go give it to Dwayne. It's a little odd in modern day and time to think for a second that oh, any American family, even of older people, the wife wouldn't be carrying at least some form of money, particularly on vacation. Uh, although that might be the e explanation there, is that maybe she's afraid of being robbed, so she made the husband hold all the money. But then why is Hi she there, even Hi shopping there, if she has no money? How can I help you, young fella? What do you think of this? Good gravy. Looks old. Yeah, I had to turn this town upside down. Boy, your leg's better than ours. Looks Roman. I wouldn't know. What'll they say back home? How much do you want, George? Oh, I couldn't. It's the find of a lifetime. I mean... Fifty bucks. Take it. Or leave it. I'll take it. Here you go. And mm -hmm. here you go. Thanks for the money, Dwayne. This will come in real handy. I ought to be thanking you for finding this Roman statuette. So, I kind of have no reason to really talk to him, but let's go ahead and ask these questions and ask about this stuff. Anyways. Have you met Ultar? Almost luxurious air-conditioned taxi ride, mister. Yeah, the cabbie. Tried to pull a bunco on us. Take us on a wild goose chase off into nowhere. Have you ever heard of a hill called the Bull's Head? Can't say as I have. Where's that? I don't know. I'm trying to find out. Bull's Head, huh? I must remember that. Sounds scenic. Have you had any dealings with the kebab seller? Absolutely not. Pearl's already had one attack of Montezuma's revenge. <laughs> what does this toilet chain mean to you? It means that somewhere, somebody can't flush the toilet. <laughs> Here I have a washroom towel. Yes? No, that's it. Here I have a washroom towel. Oh, I was expecting a magic trick or something. <laughs> I've got the keys to a toilet here. Executive washroom? Not exactly. Hmm. No way. Okay, well, hmm. I'll see you around, Dwayne. Count on it, George. So, it's really ridiculous that I also had no money in this uh, scenario. How I traveled all the way here with no cash in hand, that seems... Pretty crazy. I think cash would probably be king if you're investigating a murder or going on a great adventure. Although you don't particularly see Indiana Jones pull out a, a wallet full of hundred dollar bills at any point either. Uh, so that may just always be conveniently overlooked. Fifty bucks. In the States, I'd have thought of it as a good night out. Here in Marib. It represented hard currency. Fifty bucks? Still kind of a lot of money. Even in modern times, currency hasn't changed that much. At least for the U.S. dollar. Hello again, Ultar. Praise be to Allah. I am blessed with your bountiful presence once more. Hmm. About Bull's Head Hill. Are you desirous of seeing this most splendid place? Well, maybe. A terrific bargain. Only fifty of your Yankee bucks. Fifty, huh? So give it to him? Okay, it's a deal. Here's the cash. Ah, most splendid. As you say, the cash price moolah is correct. Mister, we make with haste. Where exactly is your taxi? Because the only vehicle I can see around here is an aging army surplus truck. Yes? Ah, okay. I'll be along in a minute. It didn't Strange seem right to take off with animation. the toilet keys, so I left them on the bar. 
So he's just leaving the key so we have one less item on our, uh, in our inventory. We kind of get some strange walking animations for this guy too. His most splendid and adventurous client. Let's go. That's your taxi? Oh yes, most assuredly. Most entirely splendid taxi in all Marib. It looks like an old army truck to me. Bah! You Americans with your checky board caps and your Judd Hershes. You have lost sight <laughs> of what a taxi should truly be. About four tons by the look of it. There. You have hit the nail in the nutshell. Okay already, let's go. Regrettably not, most esteemed fair. There is a minor problem of a tiny nature. The fan belt has taken it upon itself to break. So, what are you gonna do? What can I do? I must wait for a ride to the garage for a replacement. How long is that gonna take? One day, maybe six. I can't wait that long, we gotta get moving. But how, my friend? I'll think of something. So let's give him this, and he'll use this as the fan belt, even though it's not the right width at all, nor the right material. Is this any use to you? My friend, the very thing, yes! So, for most people, if they didn't know the solutions, they'd almost certainly have not and got me half back. With his half, he did the kind of fan belt replacement that's normally done with stockings. Now, if I knot the ends together, so... Serviceable, yes? Very serviceable indeed. Stockings might work on a Bentley, but on a truck, the coarse toweling did the job nicely. Come along, my friend! You want to see the bull's head? Yes! Like, I don't recommend either one of those solutions. And we're back into a cutscene. We haven't seen one for a while now. See, there's a skip button that I imagine was not in the original game at all. Y you would just be lost if you skipped it. It's kind of pointless to even for it to be there. And if you are going to have a skip button, it should be missing by default and then appear when you start moving the mouse around. Or clicking. Uh, that way we could get a full screen image. Not that we're really seeing a full screen image here. This might be that they're trying to do more details in that cir circular area. And with the hardware that was available at the time, that, that was the best they could do. But that doesn't seem like that's actually the case because then they wouldn't have been able to animate this entire scene. And we're on page 13 of our notebook and we've got nine items and let's see now what percentage the game is going to say we have completed. If we were almost at 60 before, we're at 65 now just by getting out of that area. Uh, there was many, many percentage points just given to us for getting to Bull's Head. And so, if I would just guess, I'd say we're going to deal with Bull's Head, and then we're going to end up going to Paris and dealing with something in Paris. But there is still a matter of the mirror with the three faces and the matter of the weaving which we haven't seen anything with that and then the guy with the latin phrase we didn't really find a solution there either so three of the four pictures in the manuscript we i don't think have actually dealt with anywho that's going to be it for this recording as always i ask you to like share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. All of that helps out. If you want to support me further, go to my main YouTube page. On the right is a button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want a friend to follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.